G'day guys, welcome to Hostel Talk. I'm Mike, as you know, this is Dwayne. Tonight we're doing something a little bit different. We've actually decided to jump onto some accessories or some uh, consumables. Yep. We've decided to go for some cutoff wheels. It's something that we don't really talk about a lot, but it's something that we all talk about having to pay so much for mm. when we're regularly going through them. So we thought we'd have a bit of a crack at a test. Uh, we've bought four different brands. Uh, we've got Flexivit, as a lot of people know the brand. We've got Toolex, thanks very much to Gaswell. We've got that one, and we've also got... Uh, the Carborundum, which is Flexivit's uh, lower end brand. Yep. And then we've got the Bosch, which has been gaining in popularity a lot in Australia. Yep. So we, uh, we did a test with each of these discs, doing 15 cuts in 12mm Rio. Yep. Very common type of thing to be doing out on the job site. Mm. And we did the same test twice with all the discs as well as our practicing sort of beforehand. <laughs> yep. um, and uh, what we tried to do was give you the average time it takes to do 15 cuts with a brand new disc. Yep. And then I also worked out the area that remained on the disc that was usable. Yep. So by the time you get down to about 70 mil diameter, which uh, one of the carburetors did by the end of the 15 cuts, it's pretty much unusual, it's just uh, unusable, just not big enough yep. anymore. So I took that away and then you get the usable area of each disc left. Yep. What's left, the meat that you've still got to cut with, yep. the last little bit is the throwaway part. So Dwayne worked out with his engineering uh, brain and brilliance how that all looks and has turned it into some simple figures Yep. Uh, which tells us where they ended up. Yep, so these are the averages um, of the two different tests with each disc. Yep. So the results were with the tool X, 15 cuts took on average a minute 42 and you had about 48% area, usable area, remaining on yep. each disc. Yep, it's nearly half. Nearly half, that's right. <laughs> the Bosch had very similar results, a minute 41 on average, 15 cuts, and it had 53%, just over half, mm. of usable area remaining. Next, guys, we had the Carborundum. That came through at 1 minute 46, with only about 15% of uh, usable disc left. So that did lag a little. The flex of it was by far the quickest, wasn't it? Yeah. That was 1 minute 27 and it had 59%. So it's over half of the usable disc still sitting on it. So that was actually a crack. It was quite smooth. Dwayne was obviously doing the most cutting. I found it hilarious. Um, he kept burning himself. <laughs> yeah. Nearly caught his eyebrow on fire at one point. It was, was it, great. I was a bit worried. I looked at him and went, am I okay? <laughs> I didn't move. I just kept filming. Didn't yeah. worry me. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so the flex of it did seem to come out. Uh, what were our overall, where would we go? Yeah, so well, <laughs> the flex of it being the, the default, I guess, for a lot of, a lot of users, yeah. it, it cut the quickest and it had the most area left. Mm. It's also the most expensive. You're usually going to pay $2.70, $2.80 per disc, yep. unless you can find a pack of 10, um, in which case it might be a little bit cheaper. So we feel like that price tag is justified. However, the the Toolex and the Bosch, we also thought were very good value. Yep. A uh, little bit slower, especially for some reason on the first uh, cut or two. First couple of cuts were bizarre, weren't they? Yeah, they just didn't go as fast, and then all of a sudden, bang, they were going just as fast. As and that was faster. consistent across all the discs, all those Toolex and Bosch discs. I looked at Dwayne thinking he was doing something different. Right. It's almost as if the first and second cut that it had a buildup of resin or something that it had to burn through, it was odd. Yeah. Uh, at first we thought it was just the one dish, then it was the second, then it was third, then it was the fourth. It was odd, but after the first couple of cuts, it wasn't a drama, but after the first couple of cuts, it seemed to clear. Oh, just... Then it was quite an aggressive uh, uh, cut, and it was brilliant. Yeah, There's it was. No drama. So it's just something odd that I'm not quite sure. So, sort of 15 <laughs> to 18 bucks for a pack of 10 on either of these. Yep. Um, cuts a little bit slower than the flex of it. It uses a bit more of the area, but it's a fair bit cheaper as well. So we feel like they're actually very good value as yep. well. They're definitely middle of the road, no dramas. Absolutely. And then the Carborundum, well, this was a pack of 10 for 10 bucks. So mm. a dollar per disc. Now, this had hardly any left after those 15 cuts, compared to, say, the Flex of it, which could have done another 15 for the same sort of yeah. um, leftover disc. But it's over twice the cost as yeah, well. Two, two and a half times price. So if you don't mind changing discs more often, 
uh, the carborundum actually provided a, a good value for money as yeah, well. You wouldn't you wouldn't walk past that and go, no, definitely not touching it. No. Because when you do sit down and nut out the figures and bits and pieces, it's actually a viable option, isn't it? Yeah. If you can't be stuff changing your disc cons constantly, uh, then probably go the flex a bit or the box or the tool legs because the carborundum, it's exactly what you'd be doing. You'd be changing your disc half the time. Yep. Uh, but as we found, bang for your buck, it, it's, still, it's still a great way to go. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> So, uh, of course, we should say that these were all 125mm cutting discs, all the super thins, the 1mm. Yep. So, all exactly the same. Yeah. I did the cutting on my Bosch 5 inch slimline, slimline um, which really like. Yep. Um, now, we also understand, sorry, we, we were talking uh, before, we understand we're in a very controlled environment. We had the Rio. Uh, which is a standard product out there. We had that clamp down, it was quite secure on the bench, there was no jagging or jarring. We understand that out on the field, <coughs> that that's a, a lot more variable. All we're trying to do is get the most controlled setup we can, use the four discs, and give you an idea of what we came out with. We understand your results might be a little bit different out on the field, yep. but this gives you an idea. The other thing is you're also relying on our ability to, to apply the same pressure for every cut and every disc. Yep. What I will say is that no, we can't say it was perfect, but I pretty much let the weight of the grinder do the work yep. with just enough pressure just to keep it on the on the material. Yep. And uh, our results when we repeated on the same discs were very consistent, yep. both in time and in how big the discs were at the end. So we're pretty, we've got a pretty good feel that uh, it was a pretty even test. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we had the same length sticking out from the... 140 uh, mil we cut out. Yeah, so, so that you didn't have one that was really long, one really short, vibrating less and such. Yep. So it was pretty controlled, we're pretty happy with it. And uh, we are pretty happy with all of these discs. Don't really feel like any of them lagged in terms of value. No. Um, but the carb item obviously just goes quicker. Yeah. That's, well, the, that's the main takeout for me. Yeah, I think so. And look, we've got a handful of discs left over and none of these are going to be thrown in the bin. I'll give you the hot tip. No. So. Uh, all, all of them will be used, um, and I, I think all of them are quite quite a valid disc and a good disc. None of them were dangerous at all. No. So it's not as though we're going, oh, it's such a cheap disc, it's actually a bit of an issue. No. None of that was going on. No. Quite happy with all of them. Uh, as you'll see on the sheet, gives you a good indication of which way to go and which one uh, stood up the test. Yeah, that's right. So have a look at those results. We also can show you the back of the discs, <laughs> how, they, how they're a bit different. Some of them have the, uh, like a coating, that's quite strong over the top. It's almost as if it's been, something's been sprayed over the top of the webbing, whereas you'll notice on that piece of paper or that picture that uh, some of the webbing is quite exposed and looks quite coarse. Mm. We swore black and blue that a couple of these may be made in the same factory because they had such similar results, but then when you look at the back, uh, we, we realise that we, we don't believe that they could be because there's such a different uh, build as such, mm. or suffered such a different texture on the back, yep. uh, as you can see. So. Yep. <coughs> um, uh, the only thing... <coughs> difference to look at is that the flexivits don't have the little uh, steel ring on yep. the inside um, which um, I don't know why the others do and, and flexivit don't but it's not a problem they're fine they hold up they're strong yeah we didn't have a drive with them but uh, that's the only real difference to look at any of these discs on the front so what more is there to say they're cutting discs it wasn't a fun test so I hope you appreciate <laughs> I it I thought it was funny yeah <laughs> um, uh, we had some uh, several bits of Rio burned into the bottom of our boots at the end of it. We had to pull them out with pliers. Uh, but uh, thank you for watching. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was informative for you. Uh, if you like us, please subscribe and catch us on uh, Facebook, or Twitter, or Tumblr. Yeah. Make sure you give us your comments too, guys. We'd love to know what you think about the review and any of our videos. Um, hit like on them. Give yeah. Some comments. We don't know what you think and what you want to hear hear about. And if you've tried some other brands, tell us what you think. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Cool. Thank you. Bye. See you later.